Hello, the title of this paper is Focus or Diversify, Aligning Founding Teams with Strategy and the Environment. And this is joint work with David Chu at Wharton and Ed Roberts at MIT Sloan. The motivation for this paper is that the great importance of understanding the performance of entrepreneurial ventures. Entrepreneurial ventures are a driving force for economic growth and job creation. They're also a force of creative destruction in the economy and increase the overall productivity in the economy. There's a large top management team literature in strategy. However, we have relatively little work on an important decision of who should we add to the founding team particularly given that we're going to be operating in a per particular industry environment. And so the research question we're pursuing in this paper is, how do characteristics of highly performing founding teams change with the commercialization environment and strategy? Prior work generally shows that larger, more highly functioning, more prior work shows that larger, more highly functionally diverse teams tend to perform better. Um, and so we contribute by examining how the commercialization environment and innovation strategy shapes the characteristics of high performance founding teams. Upper echelon theory shows that a top management team's characteristics shape performance. More homogeneous founding teams, te uh, teams composed of individuals who are more similar to one another, tend to have advantages in faster decision making and execution. On the other hand, functionally diverse founding teams have information advantages, network advantages, and a greater variety of skills. These are a cooperative environment, which is characterized as being able to exclude others from using technology, IP protection is strong, and complementary assets owned by industry incumbents retain their value. In this situation, entrepreneurial firms tend to be more likely to partner with industry incumbents because they can protect their IP and because they need to access the complementary assets. On the other hand, in a competitive commercialization environment, such as uh, the one internet firms might find themselves in, ventures tend to compete with industry incumbents. This is because it's difficult to exclude others from using the technology, patents aren't as effective, and um, ventures tend to overturn the value of existing complementary assets such as distribution channels, sales teams, um, manufacturing facilities aren't as important in these types of environments. And so the other choice that, that founding teams have is whether to be an imitator or whether to be an innovator. So imitators compete on aspects other than technological innovation, not new to the world products, whereas innovators compete against other firms based on their advantages in new products, new services, new technologies. It's not clear necessarily that one is inherently better than the other, but a natural question is whether this choice might shape the ideal characteristics of the founding team. So our first hypothesis is that when taking a low innovation strategy, an imitator strategy, diverse founding teams will tend to have higher performance. On the other hand, when taking an innovation strategy, more technically focused founding teams, teams that have more engineers and scientists, um, uh, will tend to have higher performance. Our next set of hypotheses have to do with the commercialization environment. In a competitive commercialization environment, diverse teams will tend to have higher venture performance, whereas in a cooperative commercialization environment, technology-focused teams will tend to have higher performance. The data that we use to test these ideas comes from the MIT Alumni Entrepreneurship Survey. And here we have over 2,000 entrepreneurial respondents where we have data on their founding teams and the industries that they were in, when they were founded, uh, and then their venture performance. 
And so we use the Carnegie Mellon survey to differentiate between competitive versus cooperative industry environments. We use good exits as the dependent variable. These are IPOs or acquisitions where the founders and investors were more likely to make money. And then we characterize a diverse team as having above the median uh, for the number of different functional roles on the team versus a technologically focused team where uh, you have all technical roles. Uh, so CTO, engineering, VP of product development roles on the founding team. We control for a number of other factors that are associated with venture performance. And these are the results that we get. So the first model shows um, just the controls. The second model shows that more diverse teams tend to do better, as the prior literature had found. But we find that when we look at the interaction between being an innovator and having a diverse team, that diverse teams underperform when they're taking an innovation strategy in the firm. However, the more technically focused teams overall do no better or no worse but technically focused teams, when they're taking an innovation strategy, tend to have significantly higher performance. And so we see this difference across the innovation strategy and what type of founding team you should build. Next, we split the sample by competitive versus um, cooperative commercialization environments. And so the first two models just show the controls this third model shows that in a competitive commercialization environment, diverse teams tend to have significantly higher performance. And in a cooperative environment, um, we then lose that significance and they have no better and no worse performance. On the other hand, the technically focused teams, we lose significance in the competitive environment but they turn out to be significantly more highly performing in the cooperative environment, confirming our hypotheses 2A and 2B. So in conclusion, previous work had found that top management team composition influences performance, but had generally recommended building larger and more functionally diverse founding teams. We contribute to this literature by showing the characteristics of highly performing founding teams and that they're um, contingent on the type of industry environment and strategy that the firm pursues. So our paper is among the first to suggest that entrepreneurs need to take into account their future strategic commercialization decisions when deciding on the composition of the founding team. In terms of my broader research stream, I look at the drivers of entrepreneurial entry and performance in different contexts. And so I have a stream of work in a developed economy from the US where I look at differences across industry environments and also a stream of work in a developing economy, mainly using China as the context, looking at how the drivers of entry and performance change in different institutional environments.